Robert Moog used voltage-controlled modulators to create electronic sounds and to electronically imitate acoustic instruments. Robert Moog graduated from Cornell University with a PhD in engineering physics. Robert Moog originally developed and sold theremin kits before adopting his own system. The theremin musical device detects hand movements on the X, Y, and Z axis. Similar to a conductor, the hand movements made the theremin a true performing instrument. In the late 60s, Moog started manufacturing smaller and more portable synthesizers. Many famous artists, including The Beatles, The Doors, The Monkees, The Birds, Stevie Wonder, and Sting, embraced the Moog and used its new sounds to create a new landscape of pop music. In 1969, Wendy Carlos' Switched On Bach won a Grammy Award for its new rendition of Bach's classical masterpieces, which featured the Moog as the lead instrument. In 1971, the Mini Moog was released. It featured pitch and modulation controls, which are still used on a majority of sequences and keyboard controls to this day. After Robert Moog's passing in 2005, Moog Music continues to produce electronic and synthesizers. The current line of Moog synthesizers preserves the retro sound of the original Moog and are still popular with musicians today. Beginning in 1963, Donald Bugalo began introducing his synthesizers to musicians and composers around the world. Donald Bugalo was born in California and studied physics, psychology, astronomy, and music at the University of California in Berkeley. After graduation, Donald Bugalo became involved with the San Francisco Tape Music Center. He explored music that was composed by manipulating recorded sounds specifically acoustic-generated sounds. He also built one of the first voltage control synthesizers for the San Francisco Music Center. After his introduction of the 100 series module electronic music system in 1963, the 200 series electric music box came out in 1970. In 1971, Bukula built a 500 series, which was one of the first digitally controlled analog synthesizers. In 1990, Bukula shifted his attention to MIDI controllers and designed the Thunder and Lightning, followed by the Lightning II in 1996. Donald Bukula's legacy is still developing, but his contribution to contemporary music is undeniable. Along with Robert Moog, he has changed the way musicians conceive, write, compose, and perform music. Hey, what's up? Gonna do a quick demo in the Mini Moog 5. It's a VST digital version of the original hardware. As you can see, it looks pretty much like it got the wood and everything. It's just RA Moog in the corner. So yeah, it has all the knobs that pretty much you would use on the original Moog, and it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, you can click on the screen. I'm using the standalone version. You can also use this VST in your favorite DAW like Cubase, FL Studio, Reason, Logic, all of the above. So yeah, and one thing I like about the digital version of it, you can save presets. So if you're collaborating with somebody in a different area, a different studio, you can save the preset. You find that perfect sound, you can save it and send it to somebody around the world over the internet and they can load that same preset and know exactly what sound you're looking for. So, so yeah, you can see right here, got the bass line. sounds you can see the knobs changing got the tune over here oscillators uh, volume attack and delay some uh, filters over here I believe yeah pretty much all the controls you need from the original mode so we got pregios on here too what else we got on here Thank you. 
And last but not least, let's try a horn. Because I know it's a it's a analog synthesizer, so you're not going to expect an actual horn to come out of here, but it'll sound somewhat like a horn. Let's see. So there you have it. Quick demo of the Mini Moog 4 made by Arteria. It's a VST virtual instrument. Check it out.